I decided to change up the pace a little bit, do something new. Unity 8 just came out, and I thought, let's talk about it, right? I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. I don't even think I've heard many podcasts that I follow, Linux podcasts, talking about it. So I'm going to give my impressions of it. I've got my QMU, QEMU set up, and I've got Unity 8 running. I had to set up a KVM emulation. I had to set up a KVM virtual machine because no boxes wouldn't work. My actual hardware wouldn't work. I had a spare laptop hard drive that I installed and uh, got 1610 on. I have the NVIDIA graphics card, so according to Canonical, you can try out Unity 8 if you have the open source NVIDIA drivers. And I think Intel supported, but don't quote me on that. And I know that AMD isn't supported. And the proprietary drivers don't work, so I installed it and it just glitched out. So if you want to try out Unity 8 uh, and you want to see what it looks like, this is the best you're going to get. You have to use Vert Manager because I don't know why. It just this is the one that worked for me. VirtualBox will not log in; it will not work. And I think it has to do with the fact that KVM is using the actual Linux technologies and not Oracle stuff, and it has a better shot of getting everything going. So uh, the frame rate is going to be really slow because Unity 8 is really, really slow. But uh, as you can see, if I can get the mouse to move. There's a setting window up here, and it's a lot like the mobile OS. And if you go in here, you can set, this is convergence mode. So we're in desktop mode. And if I move my mouse at three frames a second, I can get down here, set it in desk, uh, out of desktop mode. Now this is what it looks like on the phone. Now this is, if I had a tablet, this is what it would look like. And uh, I've got Libertine installed. And I actually wrote an article about this, uh, which is going up in a couple, but Libertine, um, this is how you can get X11 apps to work. So if you want Firefox or you want a terminal emulator that isn't garbage or you want something very similar, uh, X11 apps like uh, Steam or whatever to run at three frames a second, you can uh, install Libertine through apt. And uh, this is really, really painful how to do, to do this. Yeah, I'm stuck in, I, I think I'm stuck in, in, mo in mobile mode. I wanted to show you guys that, one second. Force reset. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting looking desktop and, and it's interesting to see uh, what, it's, what Ubuntu is gonna look like in a couple of releases because they're gonna go for this as the main thing. And I really hope that that changes from what it's the way it's acting now because it's like, barely usable <laughs> i don't know but it, it it could be it could be a very a very uh powerful desktop uh so yeah if you guys want this to work install vert manager uh get a 1610 disk install it it won't work on live because if you do it on live it'll be even slower and uh that's your best chance at trying it out and it does work when it when it wants to work it does look pretty pretty good where did my desktop go? Okay, there we go. So let's try this again. Hopefully it reset the settings. So anyways, it basically the only apps that come with it are the ones you'd expect on, on the phone. I, I don't recommend using this as your daily driver. You're getting Ubuntu's own mobile web browser. You're not getting anything else. Like it's just their WebKit browser. I don't even think it's Firefox based. I, I honestly think it's just some WebKit thing that they took. It might even just be Epiphany, honestly, just reskinned. But if I can click on the maximize button, maybe it looks like honestly looks like Firefox now that I see it. Let's let's find out. Hmm. This may be Firefox. What do you? What do you guys think? Is it Firefox? This is painful. Okay. There's only one way to find out if it's Firefox. So if it was, that would have loaded the about page. Um, but yeah, it's it's just their WebKit browser. You can you can do everything you would expect to do with it, but it doesn't do much else. Um, then they've got checkbox. 
Oh, and I forgot to show you this. The Unity Dash does not do anything. So you go here, I press the Unity Dash button on my keyboard. All it does is open scopes. It doesn't open a, a dash like you're used to. And I think they're either getting rid of the dash completely and we're just getting scopes or they just have not done anything with it for desktop mode because yeah. And uh, so that's pretty much all I can show you guys today. Um, wanted to show off the what I could of Unity 8. You, you might have just as good of luck, maybe even better, of getting this to work in and uh, looking through it. So I, I definitely recommend you trying this out yourself. It might not be usable, but it's always interesting to see what the future technology will be. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, a little different. Um, I wanted to talk about Unity 8. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Check the description down below because you can find out where you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter.